Hey ya, folks, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Farthest Frontier in Enyaliton, where honestly, I think everything has turned around as this last video. We're still not getting massive food stores, but that's okay. We haven't gotten to the stage of preservation for all of our, you know, pickling and other uh, jarred preserved needs, no cheese, etc., etc. So we got a ways to go on food stores, but we're looking pretty good. Population's grown up to 126. We are making plenty of money as of right now. You wouldn't see that from my money stores right here, but we're really doing okay. Not nothing too bad, I would say. Uh, we've got some fruit trees growing. We are working on getting some wheat and some bread. Yeah, all in all, it's not bad. The thing we want to work on probably in this video is going to be the militarization of our society. We are going to need to work on some defenses, get some barracks up and a running, and start crafting myself some armor because these raiders are already proving to be exceptionally annoying. Especially now since they're starting to get into my residential areas and attack my housing and my markets. I'm really not okay with that. So having some soldiers to respond, not only to raiders, but actually to bears as well, would probably be a very big improvement. We could also start working on placing down some palisade walls. That does take a lot of logs, and obviously it would kind of enclose my uh, entire city, so I wouldn't have nearly as much growth room, but it is a thing that we could do. I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and enable the coal to be built up over here. That's gonna require 30 planks and stuff, which does take a bit, but not a very big deal. And another heat wave is on the way. Gosh, I never can catch a break here. I am not even kidding. When has there not been a heat wave in these planes? Where the frick did I move here? This sucks. Anyway, the merchants are still coming in and we are able to buy a lot of useful things. Looks like I can sell off a number of candles. That gets me a fair chunk of money, thank you. Let's make sure that we do come through here occasionally, buy some additional herbs. Remember, we can turn this into things like soap. Plus, every time I'm buying things like logs, it's a relatively cheap way of boosting up my economy in a pretty big way. Eh, we can buy some stone here too, I guess. It's not like I have an absolute ton to work with. But by doing this, we should be able to start working on another structure over here, which would be the temple. Very expensive, but I mean, it would be nice to have this. What other thing is this guy able to sell? Hold on, 3,100 gold for a relic. The Eye of the Hunter. Bows, crossbows, and towers deal 15% more damage. Whoa, is that what relics are able to do? It's literally gonna be some sort of a super powerful buff? Dude, I want this relic, that sounds great. So where are we placing things like our barracks? That's a great question. Um, looks like it actually creates a really large defensive area. Tell you what, we're gonna place this next to my trading post as well as my vault. Defend this entire area right here. It's gonna be a little expensive, but I think it's gonna be well worth it so we can start training up those soldiers. Of course, that does mean that I need... Oh, there's a building on fire. What do you know? That does mean that we need to go ahead and start getting myself an armory, and we'll probably place it kind of close by over here just so it's next to all the soldiers. Wait, what is this up over here? Do we find herbs? Hey, we found herbs on this map. Well, as I live and breathe, I didn't think it would be possible. It's not a lot of herbs, so it doesn't exactly do me a ton of good, but it's not gonna hurt. Anyway, let's see. So the barracks is up and running. Oh look, rally the troops! Yeah, that's great. So um, how is this gonna work now? I actually don't remember. The Stag Company. So we can recruit some people. We can hire up some light infantry or some archers. That's gonna have some recruitment and monthly costs. Eventually we could get heavy infantry and pikemen as well. Alrighty, what else we have down here? Military Company's window. So I'm guessing we'd be able to place down more of these. Probably if we have more barracks, we could have more companies. That could be kind of cool. Cavalry is gonna be a thing, so horsemen and lancers at some point. Transfer soldiers between companies, change up the banner. Oh, uh, that's kind of neat. Okay, I like that. Yeah, and then they can't actually get veterancy. So the more your soldiers fight, the more competent they become. Interesting. Well, if I were to go over here to the armory, what can I actually make? It looks like shields, and that is it. I can make shields. That's not a bad thing to get, I guess. Um, getting some hauberks, some proper armor though. 12 iron bars, six pelts, and four coal. That ain't cheap. That is really, really, really expensive. Yikes. Oh, I just noticed the flag actually changes on the barracks too for the different companies. 
Well, that's kind of a cool little touch. I like that. Yeah, um, the good news is, you know, we obviously can produce hides, we can produce coal on our own. Iron bars, uh, at this time, I have no way of manufacturing that. So I'm sure that there is a profit to be made by crafting up the uh, proper chest armor, but it's only gonna work if we buy a lot of iron bars in multiples of 12. Okay, so uh, Halberg over here is worth 294. All right, so hang on, I just wanna do a little bit of math. So let's assume that we're at a normal price, which I think is like 11 or 12 gold. Let's say 12 for every iron bar. So 12 times 12, that's 144. Uh, looks like the coal is worth probably about five. So what, that's gonna be another like 20 or so. And then do we see anything about hides? It's another 11, that's gonna be like another 60 or something like that. So it looks like it takes about 224 gold worth of materials in order to make 294 gold worth of a chest armor. Okay, so yeah, that confirms there is a profit involved. Doesn't mean it's a very good profit, but there is a profit. Let's go ahead and transfer a bunch of this gold back to the town. We need at least a thousand over here. Because now, I can start building up the temple. And I want to find out what relic we're going to get. This could be impactful. I don't know what all the options are, though. Is it just going to boost my military? Is it going to boost my economy? We're going to find out. Ten more people want to immigrate. Yeah, I can afford to do that. That's going to be worth it. We need to get some more housing up and running, obviously. But, uh, that gets me so close to the 150 that I am shooting for. Do we have any more space for more housing? Maybe one more house here. I don't know if that kind of clips. Wish we kind of placed one more over here, but the farming is now in the way. Maybe a house right here too. It's kind of hard to tell if that's gonna count. Now let's go ahead and place down two more. But we're kind of at the point where I may need to consider building out another marketplace so that we can start building out a whole new neighborhood. And that is important to me because it gives me an idea where I might want to start placing down walls around our town. I'm already kind of thinking I'll just contain some of these farms and the orchards and stuff. Normally I'd have these outside the walls. I think that's usually a better way to go. But I could go ahead and have a palisade kind of work around over this way. I kind of cut down over here. Maybe we have some more farms kind of cut around this area. And then wall this off. And then everything else we want to place just ends up being outside of the walls. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, dang it. Yeah, this shelter is technically not within the range of the marketplace. So some of these houses, they'll get a boost. They might get up to tier 2, but they'll never be tier 3 houses. Unless we make some serious reinvestments over here. Which we could do. But, like, who wants to do that? At least not right now. Too much effort. Not enough payoff. Whatever. This is at least enough to get me all the homesteads I need. And we are four people away from being able to upgrade to a tier 3 town center. Gonna need a lot more planks to make that work. But the gold is no problem and the clay is no problem. We're close. And now we are about to get our beautiful temple. There it is. All right, so that should boost desirability substantially. Oh yeah, we're really close to tier three for some of these houses. That's excellent. So over here we can have a relic. We can actually apparently have two. Mm. We need to assign a priest to a temple. Yes. All right, so um, I haven't gathered anything. Question, now that I know about this, we can excavate. Perfect, let's go ahead and begin the excavation. What glorious relic shall ye find for me? Shall it be the holy lance that pierced the side of Christ? Shall it be Thor's hammer? We'll find out. Oh, it takes a long time. Okay, I guess it uses up our builders. Ah, I guess those are the people who work on this. Got it. We are above 150 population though, officially. Excellent. All right, we've seen a lot more planks. A lot of clay. Need that gold input. Now the problem is I have to actually have all this stored before I can even start the upgrade process. So we need to go through here and make sure we change up our limits. Otherwise, absolutely nothing would happen here. What's this over here, by the way? Is this an infinite source of stone? It is a deep stone deposit. Well, okay then. What is going on over here, by the way? This is kind of creepy. Was that a dinosaur that just ran through here? I think it was. Anyway. All right, so an infinite stone deposit will be good. It's definitely worth, like, looking around here and see if there's anything else I'm missing. More iron ore to be had off in that direction. Still saw some herbs. Looks like we have another sand deposit. Okay. More infinite clay over here. All right, so a deep clay deposit. That's going to be good. Anything else we've discovered? Lots of deer. We are really not hurting for innocent animals that we can slaughter for our sustenance, which is great. I'm a big fan of venison. Still working on that excavation. 33%. All right. 
Yeah, that's with a lot of people currently working on. And that person just got et really bad by the wolf over there. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Turns out that villager is. He's dead. What's this? Another relic. The hair of Saint Hadia. Flax crops with 50% more yield. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, some of these relics can be kind of good. I don't know, man. If we can start rolling in a lot of candle wealth, we should just build a whole bunch of temples and see how many of these relics we can collect. That'd be kind of a fun way to play the game, I guess. Only about two-thirds of the way through the excavation over here, by the way. Slowly but surely, we are discovering something amazing. Aha! We have a relic! It is a warrior relic, Gilder's Coin Purse. Soldier upkeep costs reduced by 30%. I'm not gonna lie, that feels a little bit disappointing, considering what it could have been. I don't suppose you would like to buy a relic, sir. Is that, um, is that a thing? Can we do that? I'm certainly not seeing any evidence that we are able to offload a relic once we have obtained it. So that's not an easy way to make, like, 2,000 gold. Well, boo. By the way, this person does sell goats. 300 gold each, huh? Have to build a barn before we're able to do anything with it. Got it. All right. So if we want to think about maybe getting ourselves a barn and possibly, you know, start getting some animals, we could do that now. And of course, our yearly drought has returned because of course it has. Why wouldn't it? Oh, for God's sake. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this area over here into a patch for cows. So we'll make this into one big farming space. Of course, that does mean I need to have a bunch of fences in place so that we can prevent the cattle from escaping and trampling or devouring my crops. That would not be very good. I don't remember how big a uh, cow field really ought to be, so I'm just going to eyeball something that I think seems reasonable. And it looks like once you've gathered up the relic, you can dismantle some ruins for some extra stone. Which is nice, because that means that thing is not going to stay in my way for very long. I like that. Okay. So, over here, I guess we could just get Gildar's coin purse. I mean, yeah, sure. All right, we'll just go ahead and assign it here. Relic spirituality bonus. Oh, so just by having the relic, not only do I get this, but I also am making everyone feel more spiritual. Which fulfills some of their individual needs a bit better. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's great. Still waiting for enough uh, planks and enough clay to finish upgrading our town center, by the way. That's the only reason that has not advanced. Just sitting around and waiting. That's fine. I do think we are going to end up placing down another marketplace over in this direction and turning this into another residential hub. Leaving some space for another set of farms over in this direction, I think. That should be fine. And more raids are on the way. Okay. They're coming for this direction. Fortunately, we'll have barracks and stuff around, just unfortunately, no soldiers. We could train some, but I'm not really worried about it right now. I think that's going to take way too long, so it's just going to have to be okay. So let's keep an eye out for these raiders. There they are. All right, so with that known, let's go ahead and ring the bell. Everyone retreat, get to a safe place, and man the defenses. I actually don't know that anyone is technically going to be here in this barracks able to do anything. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Dude, what are you doing right now? You are attacking. Run, Mr. Hunter, run. This is how you get yourself killed. That raider is really in the mood to take you down. All right, they're trying to destroy my hunter's huts? Why would you do such a thing? I got no idea. They're also going directly for the vault, which is unsurprising, but it's got a lot of hit points to it, so hopefully it takes a while for them to get to my gold, not that there's even very much in here in the first place. So we just get a lot of free shots off on these guys, and okay, you are in danger. I would like you to retreat this direction and draw them into the line of fire. Kite them, dang it, kite them! Okay, the, apparently archers, you know, hunters and stuff, they don't sit there and like actually shoot people if you tell them to attack. They actually try to like run in and stab them, which is a really, really dumb plan. They stole my gold. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Turns out this vault needs a bit more defenses than what I went for. Fortunately, they're stupid enough to run to my town center, and they're all gonna die as a result. And somebody got killed, and he dropped all the gold and the shields and stuff I produced. Ha ha! Fool! You get almost nothing! They probably stole something, but not much! It is a little annoying that I'm gonna have to repair so much of this stuff, though. That does suck. Anyway, we got enough materials. Let's go ahead and assign our town center for a major overhaul. It's gonna take up all of my resources, but it's okay. All right, so the village was raided. 
Uh, we killed a bunch of uh, raiders. We lost nothing. No buildings were ultimately destroyed. They did fail to steal anything from me. Absolutely hilarious. You dinguses, you died for nothing. When will you learn? Anyway, up over here, looks like we have managed to build up all of our fencing, so that's great. Let's plan on placing down some sort of an animal barn. I think that's in our food production, right? Yes, okay, so this can take care of our cattle. If we place it down over in this general area, there should be plenty of fodder for the animals to kind of eat on their own, so we don't even need to bring them a lot. They just kind of have it. So, yeah, I think we just go ahead and place this over here. Oh, and is the tier three done? It is! Look, it's in Yarlington's town center. It's looking very sophisticated. Beautiful. All right, so from here, I believe we can now upgrade a whole bunch of different buildings, like the saw pit and so on. So as long as we have the materials, that's now a thing. Uh, looks like some of my housing is already getting upgraded to tier three. I was not shooting for that, but that is now about to be a thing. Takes gold planks and clay. Okay, that's fine. We got plenty of that going in. Surprisingly, no one wants bricks yet. That's good. Uh, let's see, forger shacks cannot get upgraded. Hunter's cabins could. If I have a lot more money plus some iron, that's gonna be a thing for us. Other production buildings, the Fletcher could get upgraded now. Uh, not the cobbler, what about the tailor? No, that's not gonna be a thing. Wagon shop, no, no, no. Could upgrade the trading posts. This will give us some bonuses for storage as well as more specialized merchants. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good stuff we can do now. Not to mention we've got access to all the tier three buildings, including a pub, which will make people very happy. Okay, yeah, that's one way to get a lot more desirability. How big is the building? Not very big. All I'd have to do is just tear down somebody's house and I could get a massive desirability bonus across almost everything. Well, that's a thought, I might do that. We also have access to a theater. Very large building, like the temple, place this in a place over here, for example, would make everyone very happy. Might actually just place this down over what's obstructed by a building. There's an apiary in the way. All right, well, we might place it down to the temple and just kind of have it service both uh, residential districts. That could be a thing. An apothecary shop to produce medicine. Yeah, but I don't have medicinal roots and a lot of other stuff, so that's not going to be a thing for us. A cooper, we can start making some barrels. That's going to increase our storage capacity and uh, the ability to store a lot more food for extra life. So that's not bad. Preservists! Okay, now we can start making our food last a lot longer. I can see that being great for us. We've got access to furniture, breweries, um, foundries. We can start smelting. Blacksmiths for tools, brickyards... Book binders, paper mills, and glass makers. I do have the ability to make glass. That might be fine. Bigger walls for our defenses. Bigger fences. Very decorative hedge fences, actually. Is this a way of, like, actually making people happy? Does this boost desirability in some way? It doesn't say it does, so it's probably just for vanity reasons and nothing else. But the stone cobbled roads, I could see that being good for us. And then, of course, the last round of decorations. We can get some flower urns and statues and stuff like that, which does boost up the desirability a fair bit. Okay, so now we have an absolute ton that I can build. Alas, we do not yet have the economy to fully take advantage of it. I do want to start planning out where our walls and stuff could end up going, by the way. Um, fortified walls are pretty pricey, not gonna lie. Very, very pricey. We could probably afford it, but not loving it. Still, um, what I'm thinking is the range of our market ends about here. So if I were to... Well, let's just double check that. If we end right here, yeah. I could actually get rid of the fencing right along here in this area. And kind of build this into our farming zone. And then just kind of have a wall on one side instead. That could work. I'm just gonna have these as kind of placeholders, all right? Just like little markers in a couple of places so I remember where I want things to end and how far I can freely expand before I'm gonna hit up where I want my walls. The problem with the fortified walls is depending on what direction the raiders come from, I'll bet you it's very similar to an old game I played called Dawn of Man, which I guess isn't really that old. If you wanna find that on the channel, it's actually really quite fun, prehistoric city building. But um, I think the AI works in a very similar way as far as how the raiders just kind of throw themselves at a particular point. So where I place down my towers, where I really want to reinforce, might be very heavily dependent on where the raiders just spawn and where they run in. So placing walls around everything sounds great. Placing towers around every single point of my city might be an overinvestment. We'll have to play that one by ear. 
I don't know if that made literally any sense. Those of you who have watched me play some of those games, you've already got some idea where my brain is going right now. It's just I don't know the nuances of this game enough to feel like I can really just invest a ton in the defenses of certain places. We'll see. We can upgrade wells? I didn't even know that was an option for us. What does this do? Increase water capacity, faster water accumulation, more desirability and durability. Huh. It's not that expensive to upgrade. Yeah, we can do a few things like that. The more uh, resources I get, the more we continue to develop our town, the more you're going to see that happen, right? We're going to have a lot of different buildings pop up like, Hey, would you like to get an upgrade? And I'll be like, sure, that sounds phenomenal. We are once again completely out of laborers, though. And this is starting to become more and more of a problem. Why do we have so many farmers invested? I did not want to actually build any of these. I told them all to pause. And yet I could swear that the game decides to go ahead and start placing down a bunch of these farms anyway. Ay, well, I'm not going to be doing anything with these for a little bit. Let's just go ahead and demolish them just in case that's sucking up all of my labor for no good reason. Eh, sure enough, it was sucking up about four of my laborers. Eh, not very many, but you know, some. Okay, cool, that helps. I'm mostly frustrated in that I'd like to have a larger population so I could actually start hiring up some soldiers. I feel like it would be a good thing to do, right? Just so we don't have the same issues we had before, we can have some soldiers deployed around the vault and that takes them down. By the way, why is this not getting repaired? Isn't this a thing that you guys should be doing? Where the heck are all my builders? We have none. Guys, why is no... Hello? Do you see the damaged building over here? Don't you think that maybe we'd like to get this thing fixed? No? Stupid builders, they never do anything right. Well, let's go ahead and start upgrading a few of these uh, roads. Some of these are going to be fairly expensive, but at the very least on some of the major highways through our town, absolutely worth paying some of the stone to get people around a bit faster. Oh, and finally the builders are coming through here and repairing some of these buildings. Okay, solid. Built a couple more towers over here, by the way. Just since I know that's where the raiders want to go, we might as well have three people raining death upon them instead of only one. Aha, triple DPS means three times the death. New merchants, tell me you have cattle. Do you has cattle? You don't, of course you don't. Why would anyone have the thing that I want? No, that's ridiculous. I think a whole load of immigrants are actually marching into my town right now. Look at them all. Oompa Loompa Loompa D 15 of them, wow. Uh, risky, but yes, I accept. I accept this, it means mass urbanization. Let's see if I can also go ahead and get myself a pub built up close to the temple and the theater. Seems like a good idea. This would get a bit of desirability in this entire zone. And we should be able to start taking honey and actually doing something with it now instead of trying to sell it. Or, I believe I have a huge excess of cereals. Yeah, grain over here, plenty of that to go around. So that could be kind of good for us. Just go ahead and start turning that into beer or something like that. People tend to like beer, right? Just one more house and we'll take care of the immediate needs. So that problem will be solved. In the central area, yeah, so we've got our markets. We are gonna have a new bakery. Plus we'll have the pub, we'll have another festival pole. We're gonna need some wells, some rat catchers, another healing house, as well as some parks and stuff. Do that and this will turn into a nice desirable area which will basically be one residential corner over here with a little bit of space around the corner for some defenses if we need it. Now what's weird is that the game is still telling me that I need like more laborers. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, I've got 22 freaking laborers. How many more do you think I need exactly? Apparently a lot. I do think we need to start thinking about some additional food production because if we don't do that, we just got a whole bunch of hungry mouths and uh, I don't know that I have enough farms to make this work yet. Oh, I also built a cooper, which I think I placed up over... There it is, right over here. So these guys will take planks and start converting them into barrels. I don't think I need many barrels, but delivering some to, let's say, my root cellar would be nice because this is going to reduce my spoilage even further. That's great. Really what I want to do is start getting rid of things like the gatherers and the hunters in this area and start making way for preservists as well as some brick makers. We're gonna need a couple of those things close to the clay, but preserve it so I can just take the food and actually make sure it doesn't spoil. We're not really at risk of any spoilage right now because we're not mass produ- Oh, a blizzard's on the way, great. We're not producing enough food where I think that uh, ooh, we're at risk of a lot of spoilage, but, 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 but it would be good to have that on hand just in case. Now I just realized this pub is currently not able to provide any entertainment. We have no beer. So we're gonna turn this off. 
How, what do I do in order to get actually beer? I'll bet you it's a brewer or something. I totally missed it. That's it, the brewery right there, boom. All right, has no impact on desirability. Well, that's good. I can start filling in some of the holes in these places. And here comes the blizzard, ouch. Okay, I imagine just about everybody is gonna be retreating indoors. We're running low on firewood. This is, um, this is gonna increasingly be a problem, isn't it? Can we upgrade the firewood splitter? Is that a thing? Yeah, if I had some bricks, we could do that. Okay, do that and just boost up item production speed. Tell you what, instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and assign more people here. That's another way of boosting item production speed. We got lots of logs, I need firewood. Villager stricken with eagle attack? He was attacked by an eagle, apparently. Uh-huh, sure, first off, there are eagles out here? Well, oh say, can you see? Craw! Here comes the eagle, you're dead. No, seriously though, um, I thought that was a, <laughs> I thought that was actually gonna be a disease name. And I'm like, what the heck, who named a disease eagle attack? What idiot did that? No, I'm just the idiot, it was literally an eagle. Got it. Another winter come and gone. We have survived so far for over 20 years. That seems pretty solid. Decent amount of population to work with. Could be a time to go ahead and start training up a few soldiers. I do want to do that before we end this video. So let's get myself at least a handful of archers. I'm thinking a minimum of probably five or six to start. And then that'll be my primary, um, my primary force, though we probably want to hire at least a handful of light infantry as well. Let's do three of those. I want mostly ranged uh, units, okay? Mostly ranged units, that'd be good. I do need more weapons. I do need ammunition. But that leaves me with six laborers, which is not a lot, mind you. Not enough to keep everything going. But at least I can say that now I have a cohort of troops. I am paying for them. But having a relic is making it a little bit cheaper, which is nice. Thank you. And is this going to be the trader that brings me some cattle? No. Dang it. <sighs> it does sort of feel like no one's ever gonna bring me any dang cattle. I just want some cows, man. I wanna have a cow, man. Is that so bad? Unhappy villagers are leaving. Wait, what? Why are unhappy people leaving me? Two unhappy people have deserted. They stole some of my stuff. Why, because they didn't have any beer? That's it? It doesn't see, hey! No one gave me a pop-up saying there was a problem. They just took my stuff. You deserters! Literally, my soldiers deserted me! Oh, it's because I'm out of money. See, that that was a thing you guys could have warned me about a little bit sooner than that. Got it, okay, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Transfer some gold. I just wasted a bunch of gold and uh, bows and arrows and stuff. Oh, whoops. All right, lesson learned. Um, watch out for this monthly gold report. Make sure we've always got something on freaking hand. Holy crud. And once again, no one brings me cows. All right, is this something I can just go ahead and ask for people to bring me next time? Does anyone have the ability to do that? Uh, chickens, goats, horses, where's the freaking cows? There it is, all right. Um, next time, please bring your cows, Mr. Butcher Man. We're gonna wanna have a lot of gold stocked up for that because you better believe that's going to be expensive, but it is fine, all right. So I've mostly got to lay out for where I'm going to want to have the walls. I need to figure out what I want to do with this particular corner over here, if anything at all. We've got at least a handful of soldiers available, so this is at least looking decent. I've got everything ready to go ahead and have some cows. Actually, there's no reason for those people to be there. Let's just go ahead and have them stop working there. But yeah, everything's looking pretty solid here. We're struggling again for food, but that's only because my population skyrocketed. If we can keep developing this area, though, they'll be nice and happy. Keep getting more farms up and running. We've got a few laborers to spare. Honestly, I'd still say that things are looking really, really solid. We just need to keep building up this lead and continue chunking through a bit more of these tier three buildings. Because I think I've unlocked just about everything I could care about here. Now it's a matter of actually putting a plan into action and creating a fortified super city. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and make sure you hit the notify bell. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>